Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. All right, please pardon the sweat dripping down my face right now. I'm standing in the brand new Aurora Sky Series 31 KDS model. Super excited to show you this layout because we've had it before, but we've had it with the aluminum corrugated aluminum exterior, and now this one has a fiberglass exterior. I'm not positive the other upgrades on the Sky Series because this is brand new to us. It just hit the lot with another model. It's the first two Sky Series that I've ever seen. I'm very excited for it though because it looks like it's going to be a great seller. And this 31 KDS layout is killer. So without further ado, let's check it out. Here she is, the Aurora Sky Series by Forest River with the new fiberglass exterior. Looking gorgeous. She's sitting at 36 feet and 3 inches tip to tip length. You have got this uh, awning here that stretches almost the entire length of the camping side, which is excellent. Love that. It's going to give you a lot of shade when you're hanging out outside your camper. You've got exterior speakers. And I will point out, I love that Aurora does a multicolored light on the awning. It's a small feature, guys, but a lot of kids, hey, I'm a kid at heart, right? Love the idea of being able to change that LED light strip from red to yellow to blue to green, whatever suits your fancy. I think there's even an option for it to change color on its own. Um, how cool would it be if you could figure out how to get it to the beat of the music, right? It's like, oomt, oomt, oomt. it's like an exterior party out here. All right, we're done with that. So on the um, outside of the KDS model on the camping side, you do have this storage bay. Now, this is the closet for the master. So you can see the door right there and it is prepped for a washer dryer. I'll show you when we get inside. So I don't know that you would actually utilize that storage space if you decide to get that washer dryer installed. Now, this little port right here is going to be a connection to the crank override for your slide out in case you have any issues with that slide out just in case you're wondering what those little holes are no big deal because this is a rack and pinion slide out so you shouldn't have too many issues with it they're pretty solid slide out systems entrance here nice big wide door big safety grab handle and your upgraded three step uh this is the step above version adjustable stairs nice big top step there to get into the unit uh comfortable to walk in and out now a couple of stickers on the exterior here jbl speakers you've got the solera awnings with the multicolored lights right i went over that solera does not mean solar folks it's just the name of the awning company it is wi-fi lte equipped they use what's called rv link by magnadyne there's a qr code on the inside to help get you hooked up and ready but it is ready for you to get at&t verizon whatever um 4g plan you want to use i guess they're on what 5g now uh plan you want to use to get like a hotspot internet connection inside your camper at all times and it is pre-wired for solar now i believe that the auroras normally now i think they're coming standard with a 190 watt solar panel uh let me just let me just double check the msrp here and i'll be right back all right, so it appears that the Sky Series is just prepped for solar if you want to add it on board. So you're going to have that wiring already set up for up to 600 watts of solar if you would like to add it. I will note the dry weight of this exact camper is 7,900 pounds, guys. Always try to keep that tow capacity at least a thousand more than your dry weight to give you that extra room to put stuff in the camper, put stuff in the vehicle, and be safe to tow. All right, nice clean skirt here for the um, wheel well. You don't have anything plastic hanging out it's a nice little aluminum I guess you would call it like a fender skirt um very clean looking they still have that they have that on the new regular auroras as well you can see this is the corrugated aluminum siding and then this is your sky series with the fiberglass siding so super clean look on the sky on the sky series I'm a big fan of it all right leash link there if you want to bring your four-legged uh, four-legged kids with you, right? You have an outside kitchenette. I'm obsessed with this little kitchen. I think it's the perfect amount of like size and space. You know, a lot of them have like a couple of drawers, but the storage is not really utilized the best, or you have a sink that then you have to like pick up and dump. It's like a little bucket. This is just a simple little uh, fridge. Let's see if it's got probably no freezer. Yeah. Oh, tiny little freezer, which probably has tiny little ice cube tray. 
Oh, they didn't give you one. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> tiny little fridge, tiny little freezer. And then your Suburban griddle top. So Elite Series griddle top, really nice, clean. You can cook your bacon out here, cook your eggs out here, you know, whatever you want to get done. Uh, again, just take a look at that nice big awning that is adjustable. The front end is currently dipped a little bit lower than the back end. It does look like we might see some rain coming in here uh, to Castleberry soon. It's always hard to tell here in Florida. One minute it's sunny, one minute it's pouring. All right. The back of the unit, pretty simple. This is a 50 amp service, guys, and this has been optioned with two ACs, which is pretty good for a 36 foot unit. You definitely want that second AC, especially down here in Florida. So uh, pre-wired for a backup camera. If you would like to add that on board, it'll be super simple. You've got a bumper here, which I know some um, models have gone away with a bumper. So if you are one of those people that really likes to have that bumper guard, um, you know, likes that look of that spare tire back there and the option to put your black hose in there, that's a big deal. Okay, you can see that there's two wall slides, both on the hookup side. Really like the fact that it keeps it nice and clean. Uh, on the camping side, there's no slide intruding on your awning. Now right here, you're going to have a nice tall setup for the outdoor shower. So I'm a big fan of this. I think it was a great addition for Forest River to do uh, with the Aurora product. Now you open this up, you've got hot and cold water. You can actually put the shower head up here and take an outdoor shower after the beach. Uh, you wanna rinse off the kiddos, rinse off the four-legged pets, all that jazz. Now I will say what's um, height-wise, I'm 5'2", and this comes right about to, hang on, this is easier with a cameraman, but just for reference sake here, if we're looking straight on at me, I am 5'2", and here's where your shower head holder is. So anybody over 5'3", five, 5'5", five, five, I mean, even me, like, the head's going to be right there with two inches above my, my head. So probably um, anybody over 5'3", it's going to be a little bit tough to actually use, utilize this, but it's great for kids, great for young adults, that kind of jazz. So it's nice to have it. All right, so you got that outdoor shower. And then let's not forget that they also give you the black tank flush. Super easy system to use to clean out the sensors on the black tank when you're done dumping your tank. Here is the master slide out and you have the uh, king bed here underneath. I can see that you've got all that plywood underneath that built out bed, right? The floors of the main living area on your Auroras are gonna be 5 8 tongue and groove plywood. And then you have this storage bay on the um, underneath the closet here plywood as well above there nice to see uh, and you have your 50 amp power cord that comes with the unit in the front pretty easy right you've got your rock guard you've got your 20 pound propane tanks you do have a battery disconnect on here and that is currently my battery that's connected to it and then you've got your power tongue jack don't forget guys if you buy from us here at blue compass you're gonna get uh one year of complimentary roadside and technical with our RV complete program. That's also going to include 14 days of free camping with thousand trails. And now we're working on a partnership with Harvest Host. Super excited for that to come out soon, where you'll actually get a 30 day trial membership to Harvest Host as well, which gives you a lot of other benefits and discounts. So I'm very excited for that to uh, be a part of it. Okay. N giving you a quick walkthrough of the whole unit, just so you can kind of see what we're looking at. Nice big couples coach really you can sleep um up to six people i would say comfortably probably eight if you put somebody on the floor but i'm in love with this floor plan i have a customer that bought one for me last year and she lived in it full time she loves it it's a great option uh, for people thinking about parking it somewhere seasonally this is definitely a recommended floor plan the reason being is this kitchen check out the counter space in this rear kitchen model okay huge huge lots of storage lots of drawers lots of doors and then just a ton of counter space for prep and cooking and you know that this kind of unit you'll be, be in here more often than not you want to have that space and that capacity your fridge here is electric check out how deep that is guys nice big electric fridge and freezer will cool down quicker than your gas electric and also it's just double as deep that's the way the industry is moving right now they're going away from the uh two-way gas electric fridges nice big deep pantry i can stick my whole arm in there i know it's kind of dark but yeah and then down here as well two more so plenty of storage in the kitchen you've got a pull faucet on the sink i like that you've got windows that actually open for a cross breeze a nice big deep sink looks like it's plastic all right 
Um, pretty simple on the oven, pretty simple on the popcorn microwave, right? That's GE. There is no convection option on here, but you do have an oven. On the slide out, you have this dinette, which will drop down to sleep two more people. Let's check out the storage underneath the dinette. All right, pretty nice. One, uh, two things I'm not a huge fan of. I always uh, write on the buyer's order for my customer to just have my text um, sand this a little bit. I wish Forest River would do a little bit better job with just making sure that this is not sharp because if someone accidentally puts their hand in the wrong way, could get a splinter and that's not so great. So I wish they would update that. The other thing I'm not a big fan of is the lip of this slide out. It is like a, a half an inch uh, step up. So you do have to be careful the way that you like step into this slide out that you don't stub your toe on that um, edge there. I'm not sure why, but that's just the way it looks. And that's the way that the slide out is built. Could be for strength and rigidity. There's always a reason for it, but that's my opinion on that slide out. Full trifold pull out sofa here. So this is what I meant by you can sleep four people out here and two in the master. Nice. No carpet. So I will give them that on the slide out. No carpet in this unit at all whatsoever, except for your little entryway carpet that they, you can obviously throw that away. You've got a nice big television with this one. Uh, and then below you've got the QR code I was talking about to the RV link. And then you also have your first fireplace. I say first because there is two on board here, which is awesome, especially up north if you're in cooler climates. Sometimes you can use just the electric uh, fireplaces to cook up and keep your camper warm. C cook up, cook you up in there. A uh, big window on the KDS. I'm a huge fan of this window. You can turn these recliners around. It's great. You can lounge. You can look out on the lake if you're parked facing the lake. Uh, maybe the kids are hanging out outside you just want to keep an eye on them so you can turn these chairs around fully and kind of angle them to whatever you would like to look at all right so that's the front or that's the rear of the unit in the hallway here master bathroom the one and only bathroom i guess you've got a plastic foot flush toilet easy to upgrade to a porcelain if you'd like nice deep Linen closet storage. Of course, if you don't have all that many linens, you could utilize this storage for other things as well. So that's pretty big. And then a very large um, shower. So I like that shower. It's pretty wide. It's not too not small like most of these showers are. And then you do have a skylight for light. And if, if someone's super tall, a little bit of headroom in there as well. And right here is going to be your sink. A little bit of storage below it. And then you've got your medicine cabinet. Hey there. You've got your medicine cabinet here. Ooh. A little bit of storage as well. Oh, I didn't even turn on the light. Okay, there's the light on. Makes a little bit of a difference. You got two light switches. So that's your master bathroom. Your controls are going to be electric here. Um, they have a system that you can connect your phone to. You can see the Bluetooth there to control your lights, your water pump, your water heater, your tank levels, and then down here is going to be your awning and your two slide outs. And then this is going to be your um, temperature controls for your main AC and for your heat. Now your second AC is installed uh, separately. So the controls for the AC for the main bedroom are in the actual bedroom itself. You can see you've got a nice big set of mirrors lining the front of the camper. You have a bunch of storage in the closet here. And I always point that out to customers. Look, shoe, places to put your shoes, things to hang your clothes. That's because this closet, like I said earlier, if you were, if you didn't skip ahead to the inside, uh, this is the closet with the outside access, but it's also ready. See, it doesn't even have a railing in here for clothing because you've got the prep for the washer dryer in here. So if you are looking for this kind of seasonal unit or, or you want to park it full time somewhere, you might utilize that closet for a washer dryer. And then, it, you know, you want to make sure you also have the space and capacity for your clothing. What's a washer dryer without the clothing and wash and dry? <laughs> this is a queen bed, actually. I thought it was, it honestly looks like it could fit a king mattress but maybe not. Maybe it's just shy of that. Um, but this is a queen. A little bit of storage above it. The emergency exit does open. And let's see if this bed has... Oh, no. Oh, no. No gas struts on that. That's kind of tough to open. Hold on. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that's difficult. So this is the same storage from the outside. You can see the light coming in. And then you have this. Um, this is your little welcome box with... Uh, a couple of your manuals and books and things from Forest River. Oh, yeah. Okay. I wish 
that you would put gas struts on here for us, River, because that was rough to do with one hand. Now, granted, you're probably not moving through your camper with a camera, or in my case, an iPhone in your hand. Whew. But yeah, with this heat, that was difficult. Okay, settle down, Gabby. You've got windows on both sides of this entertainment center that's prepped for a second TV. And then you have a second fireplace here. That's what I was talking about, guys. So excellent amount of walking space around the bed, at least for the queen size. There are ports and plugs here. If you have a CPAP machine, there's one on this side. There's USBs right next to the bed, but then there's one 10 outlets on that side as well. And your um, heat, you do have a heated underbelly and then all of your uh, heat, I can't even think of the word right now, but your heating comes from up in the floor which is nice because you have a heated and closed underbelly as well. All right. And I think that pretty much about covers it. This is the 31 KDS model again by Forest River. It's their Aurora uh, Sky series. It's brand new and we're super excited about it. Thank you so much for watching my channel, guys. And until next time, happy camping.